Hey guys, it's Steve, the Armchair Emperor here, and I'm going to do a quick explanation video as to the upcoming content and a miniature showcase. I know that one of the things that draws me to certain channels is well-painted miniatures, cool terrain, and I'm going to showcase both of those today. I'm going to show you guys the pool of miniatures that I'll be drawing from for a variety of games, and most of them I painted. Uh, a few of the items I actually bought painted, and a few of them Shelby painted. Shelby is the other creator of this channel, and you'll be seeing her on future videos. And uh, a few of the miniatures were painted by her. One or two of the miniatures came from eBay or other places, but if I don't state where the paint job came from, then I painted it. All right, guys, so let's show you the miniatures. To right here, beginning from left to right, we have a Chaos Warriors Chariot, two Beastmen Shaman, and a herd of Beastmen Gores back there. The front Shaman on the square base was painted by somebody else. I ordered that off of eBay. Everything else was painted by myself. This is the Citadel Finecast Cockatrice model. Very cool monster. Put some leopard spots on him there. In the front we have some Chaos Warhounds. Those were also painted by somebody else. In the back are three um, Harpies, which were uh, painted by myself. Those are some of my earlier work that's not the best. Moving on, we have Seekers of Slanish and a Herald, which I converted and put on a Steed of Slanish. I gave them all bases that look like hot coals because they are Chaos Demons. I thought that would be kind of cool. She's got some magical scrolls and some sort of a staff with blue fire that I converted out of bits that I had lying around. And these are the Seekers. In the back here we have four Reaper miniatures. Which I'll be using for a variety of fantasy purposes. On the left is a Flying Gorilla. Next is a Gargoyle. Next is a Demon Fly. And the last is a Winged Mermaid. In the front here we have Demonettes of Slanish. A Lord of Change. We have the Changeling and a horde of the older metal pink horrors. I actually don't like these models as much as the new ones, but I haven't gotten around to replacing them yet. Maybe someday soon. This is one of my better painted miniatures here. This is the uh, Burning Chariot of Zinch. I really enjoyed painting that. The little sigils and symbols on the disc and the screamers pulling it in the front. See, they have those cool yellow eyeballs that really kind of drew me. They're very, very fantasy. There's really nothing else out there that looks like that. Very unique miniatures to Games Workshop. These are three regular screamers. And in the front are three blue horrors. In the back here we have a skull cannon of corn. In the front here we have 10 blood letters. I used two different paint schemes on the blood letters. This one they have golden horns and golden swords with uh, tan skull like faces. Next down in the row we have the horde of 20 blood letters regiment with a sigil of corn banner that I painted up for them freehand. And they have a traditional red color scheme, but with fiery blades. I used orange, yellow, and red to make the blades look like they had a flame, flaming end to them. And I also did the same with the spines on their back. These are Shelby's Tau. In the front, we have three battle suits painted by Shelby. And on top here, some decals that I applied later on. The Devilfish Transport, with the two gun drones in the ports. Gotta take it to bring those troops across the field. A gun drone, a shield drone, a missile pod, and ten Tau Fire Warriors. These are your standard Tau infantry, I suppose. Put little decals on their helmets there. Stone and grass bases. On, we have the miniatures from the Dark Vengeance box that I talked about in my previous video. These are the Chaos miniatures which I got to painting right away. 
I painted them up as Empress Children color schemes. Silver, purple, and gold. I wanted them to be really gaudy. Very lavish looking armor and swords. I really enjoyed painting these guys. Here we have the champion of the chosen unit. He has a power mole or a power mace. He has a third eye on the front of his head, so he looks like a psyker. And he has a very cool helmet which he's holding in the crook of his arm there, which is looking like a silver skull. All gold accents on there. This is one where I was not sure if the color scheme would really fit it, but this is the Hellbrute. It's the Chaos version of a uh, Dreadnought. But I think it came out pretty good considering. I just wasn't sure how all that purple would look on a larger miniature. But once you put the gold and silver accents on there, with I also added a little bit of Screaming Bell, which is a bronze color. It ended up looking really nice. And I use uh, stone bases with a dry brush. They're just pebbles, and I dry brush uh, gray Craft Smart paint over them. And then I do another layer of dry brushing over the top of that, which is Terminata Stone, Citadel Dry Brush. These are the cultists, Chaos Cultists, out of that same box. I painted them up in like a dark blue and green Alpha Legion color scheme. And the leader, the uh, champion, I gave him, he sort of looks like he has this Japanese demon mask on, if you've seen some of that sort of artwork. So I gave him a, a, a red mask instead of that being his face with some orange flames up top there and here's the other champion which is kind of cool he has a silver mask and here's the rest these are three test miniatures which I was testing out different space marine color schemes before I decided which one I wanted to use I ended up going with none of them actually I ended up going with uh, ultramarines for my space marines but on the right we have a white scar in the center we have an imperial fist and on the left we have a blood angel and I did put some of the uh, shoulder pads on the little decals to show what legions they're from again that's not some of my best work I was just testing paint colors there. All right, we're gonna to move to the back. This is the Horus Heresy Betrayal at Kalth box, which you'll see Shelby and myself playing as a board game. But you'll also see these miniatures drop into our 40 gig games time to time, especially the word bearers, because with Chaos, you figure that they would have some of that older heresy era armor. I use Tester's Red Gloss, which is a high gloss paint. Not a lot of people like it, but I really liked it for that shiny brand new armor look and if I get in closer to this miniature here you could see the difference has a bit of a gloss to it I really like that for 30k space marines this is the character Kurth has said he is a chaplain in chaos terms a dark apostle and behind him is the word bearers contemptor dreadnought all right, here we're starting with the Ultramarines. Ultramarines Tactical Squad. Blue and gold. Same basing scheme. In the middle here we have the one Dark Angel miniature that I actually have completed. It's the Librarian. And then on the left here, we have the Terminators and the Ultramarines General from the Betrayal at Calf box. Now we're going to have a quick note on terrain on some of the different types of terrain that I use. One thing that you may be seeing a lot are these Romanesque ruins. Those are from Petco, believe it or not. You can buy them in the fish tank aisle. They're pretty good, you know, if you want to spend a few bucks, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on Citadel terrain that you have to paint and assemble yourself. You can get a couple of these and they work good for historical games, for 40k sort of Romanesque buildings, for fantasy or Frostgrave, really whatever you want to do. They're already sort of painted in a tan stone scheme with a dry brush of white over the top. Of course you could repaint that and make it look much better. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but it serves. 
I'll also be using some terrain from some old board games and things that I have lying around, as I'm sure most wargamers do. These are two broken down walls from an old Hero Clicks game. They already came out of the box painted. Bullet holes and all sorts of uh, dry brushing on there. It looks pretty good to me. So I use them quite often. I have larger pieces in the center. This is another one of those Romanesque ruins that you'll be seeing in our videos from time to time. It's a much larger one. Because the Imperial forces in 30k and 40k have sort of a Romanesque feel to them, with the Emperor and the, uh, you know, um, champions and sergeants having the transverse crest on their helmet, like old Roman centurions, they definitely um, drew heavily upon Roman influence for the Empire and the Space Marines. Uh, so I like buildings that sort of reflect that. I also buy some terrain on eBay fully flocked and painted, the traditional polystyrene wargamers terrain. I also have some terrain from 54mm toy soldier sets. These are tree stumps and trees. I believe they're old Marx recasts. One solid plastic piece, not great quality, but they definitely work pretty well and they're cheap. If you can find them at toy soldier shows online, and I've put some sand on the bases, and I've done a little bit of brown ink wash to go in the recesses of that tree to make it look a bit more real than just the bare plastic. Still a little shiny for a tree, but you know what? Works. And then here's some of the nicer terrain. You may have seen little houses like this. Um, I know that they use these houses in um, Warhammer Fantasy games from MiniWarGaming.com and a few of, the, of those other places. These are a bit more expensive. But they're really nice. They're cam they come out of the box like that, beautifully painted, dry brushed, all the shaded areas. And then last but not least, we have some palm trees here. And these came from two different places, from Michael's, or the dark green thin ones, and from the Toy Soldier Co. Uh, for the lighter green ones. And I've ink washed them and based them with some pebbles. Just to make them look a bit more realistic. It was a fast way to do that. So these are some of the miniatures which you'll be seeing in our videos and I hope you like them. I think most of them are painted pretty well so if you want to see a variety of games with fully painted miniatures and cool terrain, we've also made mats. Then you guys will definitely enjoy our content. We're going to be playing a variety of games as I said. We're going to do 40k Warhammer Fantasy, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, Frostgrave, the Betrayal of Kalth board game, and that's just for starters. There's going to be more and more content being released, especially historical uh, miniature games. I have many, many historical miniatures, and they will be featured in, in a future video. Alright guys, this is Steve, the Armchair Emperor, and look forward to our future content.